Hey guys, so this video is for the ATI's video series that I'm doing um, and today we're going to be talking about the English and language use section. Now for this section there are a lot less problems than the other section. There are 28 questions um, which is nice that it's shorter but it also means that each question is worth a lot more points than the other sections, almost double actually. Um, so it's important that we understand these concepts because I personally feel, at least for me, that this was the make it or break it section. Like this was the section that was the most challenging for me. Um, maybe you guys feel different, um, depending what your backgrounds and maybe you are like an English major or something. So this might be fairly easy for you, but, um, you know, I thought that this was the most challenging. Um, so, but let's go through it. <laughs> All right, so I have this book again, um, just because I borrowed the ATIT's manual from my school when I was studying, so I don't have it with me. Um, but the these both are very similar, this one in the ATI's manual from um, the ATI's like website. Um, but this one, however, goes into a lot more detail for each section. Um, I noticed that the ATIT's manual would be like, you know, the anatomy of the kidneys and give you like three or four things in the kidneys where like this one will really go through and like explain things for you. So um, I would recommend reading both books, but you guys can do whatever you want. All right, so going through the first part um, to understand is grammar, so no parts of speech, nouns, pronouns, um, no reflective pronouns, possessive pronouns, um, relative pronouns, you know, and these are just things that it's like practice makes perfect, you know, so, um, let's see what else, Rich? and then, you know, verbs, know, know the different tenses, um, you know, it's a lot of information to know, you know, adjectives, adverbs, um, conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, subordinate conjunctions, prepositions, um, interjections. I'm going to go through all these and then give you guys advice on it. Um, be able to see, like, different phrases. Is it a prepositional phrase? Is it a verb phrase, a noun phrase? This other thing called a grund phase. I don't know if I said that right. Different types of clauses, types of sentences. Is it a simple? Is it a compound? Um, be able to identify the correct punctuation. Um, you know, avoid common usage errors. So errors in agreement, you know, subject verb agreements. Be able to identify commonly confused words and which ones are the correct ones. Be able to identify errors in sentences, sentence construction. Um, okay, so that's for the grammar. Then there's also um, vocabulary, but we're going to stop there. Um, so my advice for the grammar section and what I did, which made because so what I did is I. Um, studied like the math, the science, the reading, and I've read through the grammar sections and then I did like the practice problems or the like practice exams to see where I needed work. And let me tell you, the English and language section for me was the hardest. I really struggled in the practice exams and things like that. You know, I was getting around 60% on this section. This was really difficult for me. So how I upped my score um, to, I got in the high 80s on the exam, which I was happy with, I'll take it um, for, you know, this is kind of, I guess, what like dropped my score in a sense, but, um, cause I did really well in all the other sections, but the English and language was definitely um, the most difficult. So how I upped my score um, to like a good score, I guess, is for the grammar section, I used a lot of worksheets and I went through each concept and I printed out worksheets like there's so many online for like high school or whatever so perfect example like nouns and pronouns I mean those are pretty straightforward like you probably know what they are but if you don't I mean you could just write it in your notebook you know look up the difference whatever 
um, possessive pronouns, are they reflective, you could also write those. But if you really want to like get in depth to understand, what I would do is go online and type in like pronoun worksheets, like reflective, possessive, whatever, and then they'll come up and then I would go through and do the worksheets. I did that for every single thing and I literally doubled it at some parts. Like, um, so like verbs, same thing. Um, so maybe you need to understand like the tense of verbs. So verb tense worksheets, that's what I would type in and then print it out and then study it. Um, okay, and then like same thing. So like conjunction worksheets, correlative conjunctions, subordinate conjunctions, prepositional phrase worksheets, um, you know, so that's what I did, types of sentence worksheets, you know, and this book's really great because it does break it down um, a little bit, but, you know, punctuation worksheets, do I use a semicolon, do I use a comma, do I use a period, that will be on the exam, so you need to understand, you know, and it's not easy, it's not like, or at least for me, I mean, maybe it's just the way my brain works, like I'm good at math, but to me, it's not easy. Like, it's not like, oh, they used, like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, math is easy because it's like straightforward. Like, it's always black and white. Grammar is not black and white. It's like you do this and this and this, except when it's this, or this, or this, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you really need to memorize all that stuff. Like, you need to understand, you know, sentence structure and the different parts of a sentence. You know, is it um, a compound sentence? Is it, um, like, you need to understand all the different parts of a section to know, do you need to use a comma or a semicolon? You know, the phrases, you need to understand, like, the phrases. So. That's what I would say. Go through the grammar section, identify what you don't know, and then do worksheets to better understand. Or also look up YouTube videos. But um, so that's also what I did is I watched YouTube videos, um, and then I did the worksheets to really make sure I understood all those things. Um, so then there's also a vocabulary section in there as well. Um, you know, so understanding root words, prefixes, suffixes, you know, and there's like a big list of these. Um, so, be able, oh, spelling. They will ask you about spelling, like which way is the correct way to spell a word. So I would just say to go through those and understand, like, you know, like it says right here, like, Rules are you drop the Y and add IES when um, they're going, like, um, sorry, when it's going from, like, when it's not plural anymore. I mean, when it's going to a plural. I'm really good at grammar, obviously. Um, yeah, so there's just all these, like, rules. So, like, when something that ends in an F is being made into a plural, it changes to V-E-S. You know, you just got to understand, I, you know, I before E except after C um, or when it sounds like an A. So it's just like remembering all of these um, rules. So that's about it for the grammar um, and or the English language section, I should say. Um, actually, hold on. I do have a list. So let me just make sure I got everything. Oh, big one, subject verb agreements. They will ask you about that, so make sure that you understand that. Um, recognize common possessive nouns, pronoun um, agreements, dialogues. Oh, be able to identify if it's a first, second, or third per person voice in a story. They will ask you that. Um, Oh, okay. Um, recognize a simple or complex sentence. That's a big one. They will ask you about that. Um, be able to identify a top or supporting sentence and know the difference. Um, and yeah, I think I said the rest. Mm -mm. 
know the difference between it's and it's like when there's an apostrophe s and when there isn't um, and know a list of like commonly misspelled words they, um, it, they have it in the book so just kind of like review that so yeah, I would say that's about it for the English and language section. I hope that you guys found this helpful. Um, I will say that for me, this was my weakest section. So there might be things in this video that I missed or maybe didn't um, say as well as I could have. And I'm sorry, I am not a grammar and English section master. But um, I hope that you guys found this somewhat helpful. Um, and also, oh, remember to check out uh, the MoMA metrics website. Um, they had some good videos for each section in the ATIT's review um, and they do have a grammar in English section and I used that a lot when I was studying um, because they really do break down like everything you need to know which is really nice. So yeah, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be having much more videos every week or many more. See what I mean? Like I'm terrible at grammar. It's, it makes me feel ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> so I will have many more videos coming soon. Um, so make sure to subscribe below and I start nursing school in like six weeks. So there'll be lots of nursing school videos, nursing school hauls. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, make sure to subscribe below. And anything that you guys want to know, feel free to email me or comment or whatever. I definitely want to create videos that you guys want to see um, that's important to me. So, all right. Thank you very much. Bye.